One of the things that making comics really taught me was building that system that has processes and people and pulling that together. And that's the only way you could really get something done in the end and actually finish. And I think of the same thing even with Job Nimbus now and what we're doing as a company. Growing up, I was never a huge comic book guy. I remember really being into the Transformer comics for a while from Marvel. But overall, I didn't love Superman or Batman or anything as a little kid until I discovered Alan Moore, who's my favorite comic writer. Alan Moore wrote The Watchmen, which a lot of people know because it's been created as an HBO series and that sort of thing now. When I read The Watchmen, it blew my mind. I had no idea that comics could be that way. I read also his From Hell that was super, super impactful on me. It was just an amazing story about a, a alternate history of Jack the Ripper. After I had read a few of these, I said, I want to I want to write my own comics. Then the question for me was, well, if I want to write a comic, how do you even do it? And as I looked around online, surprisingly, even some of the most famous comic writers do it all differently. I mean, people are using Word docs or text files. Some people have ways that they lay out their panels. Other people just have like a bunch of paragraphs of descriptions. It's actually really interesting. So. I took a lot of ideas from those and started just practicing writing comic scripts before I even tried to do my first book. And this is all about that process. What I found is that making a comic is the only way to do it is to follow a process. And so I, I pioneered, frankly, I think kind of a unique way of writing comics that takes some of the movie writing that I'd done and the script writing and combined it with the comic writing format in a way that I love. I love writing it this way and I think it's way better than a lot of other methods that I've seen. And then from there, you'd lay out your panels and the next step is you'd have to draw out how you wanted each page to go. And there's a lot of things to making a comic that people don't, they, they just take for granted when they read one. You have to have the bottom panel of your right page needs to be a what's called a page turner. It needs to be a mini cliffhanger. It gets the person to move to the next page of the comic. And the very end of your issue needs to be a big cliffhanger, which draws the person in to buy your next issue. And so you have to kind of time how you're doing everything and tell your story. And most importantly, your story needs to make sense when you just look at the art. So take off all the bubbles and the text and you have to make sure that that story is readable and somebody can understand it just by their eyes moving left to right through all the panels. And if that works, now you add in the bubbles and everything like that to add uh, spice to your overall comic. So there's a lot of parts to the, the science of making a comic. Okay, so there's the process of making a comic, but then there's also the people. And in this case for me, I, I'm not a great artist and I have really good, I think, fun ideas about comics and, and stories that I wanna tell, but I needed some art talent to really take it to another level. And I realized that you actually need a penciler, you need an inker who actually takes the pencils and draws out the, the sharp inks. You need a colorist that colors it. And then you, uh, sometimes your colors will do this too, but sometimes it's different. You need a shader that comes in and adds to the color with shades and shadows and that sort of thing. And then you've got to do the over overlay of the bubbles and the text. These are all different people. So what do I do? Well, I started going where uh, a lot of people go. I went to comic cons and I started meeting other artists and I started making relationships and building the vision of what I wanted to do and talking to them about the stories I wanted to do. Built some really strong friendships. Within a year, I had a team pulled together of different people that could help 
on different aspects of the comic. I started uh, learning myself how to do coloring. I learned how to do layouts. So I would do the script, I would do the panel layouts, I'd hand it to the penciler, he'd finish that off. Then we'd hand it to the inker, then it would go to the colorist. And then I would do a lot of the coloring. Uh, I became the colorist long term. And then actually my brother is really good at shading and layouts and that thing. And he'd finish the final layout of the book and be ready for the printer. One of the things that making comics really taught me was building that system that has processes and people and pulling that together. And that's the only way you could really get something done in the end and actually finish. And I think of the same thing even with Job Nimbus now and what we're doing as a company. We have to find great people that can do the jobs that I need them to do. And everybody has to have a clearly defined role. So I'm gonna get you this, you're gonna do this thing, and then you're gonna hand it off to this person, they're gonna do this thing. And that then starts the definition of the process. And there's clearly defined handoffs, there's clearly defined what is coming in, what's coming out. That's your process. It's deciding what the inputs are and what the outputs are. And then teaching people how to do that really great. That's how you finish as a company or actually achieve your goal. Get to the next level is having the people and the process working together. Find people that match your company values. It's critical, it's table stakes. Don't even bother with anybody that doesn't have your company values. Most people can learn any job or build up skills over time. But if you have the wrong values match, it's a, it's a non-starter. So that means you have to have great company values and then match people against your values. On the process side, just take a couple hours, everybody not focus on anything else and get on a whiteboard and define out your process. What do we do first? Then what do we do next? Then what do we do after that? And what is the thing that we're supposed to be inputting there? And what's supposed to come out the other side? And what are the rules of that? Okay, well, this job needs to have this done or this paperwork filled out before it can move to the next stage. And then who's doing that role? Each one and clearly define that. It sounds simple. It will completely change your business if you define your core process. Once you have the right people with a great process, something special happens in your business and you really create something from nothing. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. Hit like if you like this content and hit subscribe if you wanna see more of these videos. We're also doing a giveaway. There's a link in the description of some of my favorite things as a CEO that we're giving away to people. And if you're interested in learning more about Jobnimus, there's actually a link in the description. You can even set up a meeting with one of our reps to learn more and even get a live demo.